Hey, it's Mark Savard. Uh, it's very, very exciting. October 15th, 2015. Tesla just rolled out with a new update. Uh, version 7.0 Autopilot. Uh, I am terrified. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't even tested it. Uh, basically, it says, with this release, we're introducing a significant advancement to autopilot functionality with auto steer, auto lane change, auto park, and side collision. Warning! We've designed these new autopilot features to give you more confidence behind the wheel, increase your safety on the road, and make highway driving more enjoyable. Similar to the autopilot function in airplanes, you need to maintain control and responsibility of your vehicle while enjoying the convenience of autopilot in the Model S. Apparently it's still my responsibility to drive the car. Uh, new modern look on the car. They've changed a few things. We, you know, obviously uh, as you can see, we can monitor and change anything we want. We get a little new information, maybe on the car status. There's the PSI of each of the tires, which currently have none. Apparently we got four flats. I don't know why that's not working, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. So this is kind of, you know, a couple of new features and whatever. But uh, bottom line is, we got autopilot. We're going to check it out and. Uh, Ah, let's go. All right, so we're going to head over to the uh, 215 Beltway here in Las Vegas. A little bit more traffic, a little bit more predictability. I understand that the autopilot needs to see some lanes. It shows us on the screen uh, basically what it sees. Uh, and if we're able to go through the uh, autopilot, now you can see there's a car ahead of me right now. It recognizes that car. Um, and then you can see the gray lines right now. There's gray. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's there's uh, their lines are gray on the sides, which means that the autopilot feature cannot be enabled because it's not recognizing the lines. When those lines turn blue, uh, we then can turn on the uh, the autopilot feature. Now, autopilot uh, it'll control speed. It'll measure cars to in front of us so it's almost like an adaptive cruise control it'll also go to the speed that we want it to if there's no cars ahead of us and it recognizes with camera hardware some here and some on the sides of the car that uh, where the lines are so it's going to keep us in line apparently now um, I feel like we need some exciting music we should uh, listen to Eastbound and Down by Jerry Reed that's a little uh reference to uh, Smokey and the Bandit, so make us feel a little bit more badass. Um, you know what, to be honest, let's cancel that. I think I'd rather hear the sound of my butt cheeks clenching up to the leather as I'm terrified to try this feature. Uh, all right, so here we are. Now you see the blue lines. It's recognizing the lines in this highway. Uh, let's merge into this traffic first. All right, so here we go. It's recognizing the lines. I'm engaging the auto steer, and here we go. Okay, I got my feet fly on the ground. This is terrifying. It's terrifying. It recognizes the car ahead of me. So I am literally not driving this car, and then I'm, I'm ah, it's just so terrifying. Um, yeah, not driving the car at all. Uh, nobody in the front seat with me. Ah, <laughs> this is terrifying. Uh, currently going 71 miles per hour. Uh, I understand that you cannot engage the autopilot over 90 miles per hour, which is fine. Uh, because I'm a huge nerd and I never go over 88. It's a back to the future thing. That's as fast as I drive the car. So here we go. We're autopilot. <laughs> this is terrifying. We just turned around and re-engaged re uh, the highway. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to turn the car back on on autopilot. And here we go. Uh, actually, let me first. So you can hear the chimes when it turns itself off. Part of the adaptive cruise control I'm fine with. 
um, that's been in the car for a while. It's the steering that's very, very weird. <laughs> it's very strange. It's very, very strange. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a bend in the curve or a curve in the road here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's making my heart race. It's very, very, I mean, I'm sure I'll get used to it at some point. And it's probably better than a lot of drivers. And I'm not gonna be racist, but my video guy, he's Asian. And not because he's Asian, but on a scale of one to 10, how good you driving? A uh, five. A five? Are you kidding me? I've driven with you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go it is the strangest feeling to not have to actually drive your car like I said feet are flat on the ground and my hands are uh, like oh my god Say, oh. <laughs> that's the strangest feeling completely so the car yeah really driving itself again nobody in the front seat uh, it's recognizing the road, it's following cars. Okay, let's try lane changing, okay? Here we go, lane change. All right, and left hand turning lane, and let go. Okay, <laughs> I did it. Oh my goodness. That is the most surreal experience ever. Okay. okay, I'm being real crazy right now. We're going into a curve. We've come off the 215. Uh, it's going to be a bigger curve. I'm terrified. I'm going to keep my hands close by, but it's driving the car. It is literally driving the car. And I cannot, I don't know what I'm more thankful about. If Tesla is really advancing the future for us, or if they're just making it much more convenient and much safer for Roadhead. Either way, thumbs up to Tesla. This is unbelievable. And no problem, it's totally making the turn. No issues at all. There's no jerkiness, it's very, very smooth. <laughs> I'm just, I am just absolutely, I am fascinated and pleasantly pleased and very, very surprised. Well done. So here we go, the car's slowing down. I'm not touching the brakes. Everything is automatic. Uh, it's steering by itself. It recognizes the car ahead of us. The car is in blue, which means it's using it as a gauge. The shoulder is a little wide over here, so it wants to move us closer to the line, to the curb, even though it makes for a very wide lane. Um, just because it's referencing, obviously the car is seeing that line, it's referencing how it works. So it's a little bit right justified according to the lane, because the lane's over here. Um, but I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense how the equipment's operating. But again, the car slows down, accelerates as I need it to, as long as it, it uh, the traffic ahead of us doesn't exceed. So now it picked up, oh, it wanted to turn left because it wanted to follow that car, but it was overridden by the lane and it let that car go and then found the new car ahead of us. So it's very smart. I'm watching what's happening on the screen and it, it seems to be very, very well done. And I need to point out that Tesla did say this is a beta version. So if it drives us into the airport right next door and we crash into a plane, it's not Tesla's fault, which is you know very smart on their behalf. I was on my phone reading the forums and as we did find out that uh, people are struggling with the auto part feature, the auto drive, uh, autopilot rather, is phenomenal. It is just absolutely awesome. Uh, very, very fascinated with the with I mean how this works. The computer software must just be going crazy. It's referencing the curb. It's referencing the car ahead of me. It's kind of got to calculate everything in in nanoseconds to make decisions on what the car is going to do. It is just awesome. Uh, Auto Park hasn't been working very well. It's it's you know we looked on the forums and. Uh, it seems like the curb height you know, has some effect. If it doesn't recognize the curb, it has sometimes a hard time measuring the distance. I'm not sure. The good news with Tesla is that they're going to update that software and they're going to make it better. Unlike other car brands where you buy it, you get what you get, the car gets better over time. So that's a cool thing. Looking forward to seeing how that's going to operate better. Um, other than that, <laughs> it's just phenomenal. Uh, the auto park, I'm not worried about because I'm very good at parallel parking. Uh, the autopilot feature for the parking would just help me uh, blow my own horn a little more than I am currently. So, uh, good job Tesla. Uh, can't wait to see what the next updates bring.